So we have two different expressions here, and what I want you to do is pause this video and see if you can rewrite each of these as a simplified polynomial in standard form. So pause the video and have a go at that. All right, now let's do this together. So this first one, we are adding two polynomials, and I could just rewrite this as negative 5x plus 4x squared plus 7. And since I'm adding this entire second polynomial, I could just say this is going to be plus 3x minus 6 minus 8x squared. Now the key is, is we want to combine like terms. What do I mean by like terms? The ones that are the same degree. So for example, here I have 4x squareds, and then I am subtracting 8x squareds. So if I have four of something, and if I subtract eight of that same something, I am now going to have negative four of that something. And that, in this case, that something is x squared. Now let's go to the first degree terms. So I have negative five x's, and I also have three x's. So if I take three x's and I subtract five x's, well, I'm going to have negative two x's. And then last but not least, I have our constant terms. If I have a seven, and I subtract six from that, I am going to be left with one. And there I have it, I've simplified it. It's a polynomial and it's in standard form. I've put the highest degree term first, the second degree term, then the first degree term, and then the constant term. Let's do the same thing with this one. Now this one, I can rewrite this first polynomial, the first part of this expression, five y plus three y squared minus nine. But we have to be a little bit careful here because here we are subtracting this second polynomial. Another way to think about it is we could view, if I'm subtracting it, that's the same thing as negative one times all of this. So if I want to remove these parentheses, I have to distribute this negative one onto every term. So negative one times eight y squared is negative eight y squared. Negative one times negative one is positive one. Negative one times two y is negative two y. And now I can do what I just did in the previous example. I could, for example, say, all right, where are my second degree terms? I have three y squareds, and I'm going to subtract eight y squareds from that. Well, that's going to be, let me scroll down a little bit, that's going to be negative five y squareds. And then I could go to a first degree term. I have, or terms, I have five y's. And then from that, I'm going to subtract two y's. Well, that's going to give me three y's plus three y. And then last but not least, I have negative nine here. And then I'm going to add one, which would get us to negative eight. And we're done.